This chaotic scene captured by Bomberito Automotive Group Skyfox turned out to be just a big hoax, all response to a hoax. But it's still no less frightening for parents who lined the road outside Granite City High School waiting for answers and word from their child. Fox 2's Chris Hayes was in with them on the ground and joins us now with their reaction. And Chris, these hoaxes were called in for nearly two dozen schools across Illinois today. That's a tremendous impact. Mandy, though we now know no one was hurt after a false alarm, that relieving news came only after an astounding police response and parents who rushed to the school. From the air, video captured by Bomberito Automotive Group Sky Fox showed the tremendous police response. Surrounding both Granite City High School and Coolidge Junior High, hundreds of parents lined Namioki Road waiting for answers. It's been hectic because you don't know what's going on in there. Families frantically texting their sons and daughters, parents who dropped what they were doing to get here. I immediately got up and ran out and got here as soon as possible. Word quickly spread that everyone inside was safe. I just got a text from her like 10 minutes ago. I was really scared, but I was relieved to know that she was okay. One of more than a dozen reported false alarms across Illinois, yet waiting parents would not relax until they could see their child. I'm still tense. After two long hours, lockdown ended just after noon. And the people were saying a bunch of different things. I didn't know what was going on. Although this is an unfortunate situation, we are extremely pleased that there was no credible threat. It was outstanding to see the response that we had. It was very humbling uh, to see that this many uh, agencies would all come together for one incident. Students hearing it started because of someone who did not want to take a test. They're going to have to take it again. Either way, it doesn't matter. Granite City Police Major Nick Novosich adding that they had support on the ground from state agencies and even federal agencies, mm -hmm. Mandy. And we're going to have the FBI here in studio coming up at 530 to take a deeper look into what this practice is called. It's called swatting, and a lot of people have never heard of that, but we're going to talk about what happens to those caught calling in a hoax like this. Chris, thank you.